Greetings and shalom. Blessings to all those who are lovers and seekers of truth and thirst for righteousness. We'd like to welcome you to Holy Armor Ministries. Uh, I want to introduce myself as the elder, uh, brother and elder, T. Haman the Hebrew. Who we are, we are servants of the Most High God. We're children of light. We are biblical descendants by blood of the biblical Israelites. And who we are as Holy Armor Ministry, we comprise of both Israelites and those who sojourn with us, both Jews and Gentiles. And so today I just wanted to take the time to introduce you all and kind of get to know you and go over five principles that we believe and hold dear to. The first one I mentioned to you who we are. Uh, first and foremost, as servants of the Most High, we believe that we are first a spiritual being living in a physical body and that we have been placed on this earth for a mission and for a reason. That leads to point number two, what our mission is. Our mission is to preach the gospel and to teach men both Jews and Gentiles, to keep the commandments of the Most High God in Christ and to confess their sins, to repent and be baptized for the remission of their sins and to be born again. That is our mission. Third, one might ask, well, what do you believe? Well, first and foremost, we believe in the laws of the Most High. We believe that there is grace. We believe that there is also salvation, that salvation is of the Jews, but salvation to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles. We believe that the Most High, and we know for a fact that He is not a respecter of persons. We believe that as Israelites, that the so called African American or black man is actually from the tribe of Judah. They're one of the, the 12 tribes of Israel. We also believe that we've fallen, we've fallen from a place of prominence because we broke the Most High God's commandments. And so we believe that we have a purpose to raise up the lost sheep of the house of Israel and bring them back to the Father and be a light to the Gentiles. We believe not only that we are Israelites, but we follow the motto of the Israelite. We know that there's some stigma out there that people, when they hear Israelite, they are associating that with people who, who push hate speech. We believe that the laws con contained in the Bible are the actual living word of the Most High God and that we are all to adhere to it. That the laws are not just given to Israel, they were given to Israel. To, to give out to the rest of mankind. Fourth, how do we achieve our goals or how do we accomplish the mission that was set for us? Well, the scripture tells us that the servant is not greater than his Lord. So we believe in modeling the example of being transparent and exemplifying what it means to be Christ-like by walking and observing and keeping the commandments that our Lord and Savior Christ gave to us. Now when I say Christ, we know that Christ means anointed and I understand that the Messiah whom we call as Israelites is Yeshia, which means my Savior. So how we achieve our goals is first coming back to the Most High. We believe that we are watchmen and we are to sound the trumpet, blow the, blow the trumpet in Zion when we see the sword coming upon the land. And my, my dear beloved brothers and sisters, we are at the end time. We're in the last day of the last days. We don't have as much as time as some people may think that they might believe. 
we also know that we are in a spiritual battle, according to Ephesians, the book of Ephesians chapter 6, that our war is not carnal against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, finally, why must we do these things? According to the book of 1 John chapter 5 and 3, in order to show our love to the Most High, we must keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous to us. It's the only way that we can show that we have love to our Heavenly Father. And finally, in closing, I'd like to say that according to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13, the whole duty of man is to fear the Most High and to keep His commandments. So, I just want to, to share with you, brothers and sisters, and welcome you to please join in, link in. We're praying for you, praying for one another day and night without ceasing. As the scripture says, pray without ceasing. We're living in a very troublesome time. And the only one that's going to be able to save us is Yeshua, the Messiah. Now, I know some of you may not be familiar with the term or the the name Yeshia. When you visit us, and I, I encourage you, please, you may have received one of these flyers here. Uh, you may see brothers and sisters out giving these flyers. Um, when you visit the website of HolyArmorMinistries.com, and if you type that in, and maybe I can have the person on the camera kind of zoom in to up here to see exactly what we're talking about. There's our website. Please link into it. Uh, it's very helpful, very informative, very anointed. When you come to this website, you're going to get a plethora of information. And we need direly, and we're praying for the Most High to send forth His perfect laborers to help labor in His vineyard so that we are able to bring forth fruits unto repentance. We believe that Yeshua, the Messiah, He is the truth, the way, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through Him. So when you visit this website here, it's like I said, it's a plethora of information. You have an overview, prayer requests, testimonies, truth videos. And so I just wanted to just kind of show you how to navigate through it. So when you go down to this, uh, go up to this link with the raw and cut gospel, we believe in the eternal judgments. This is a lesson here. True names. This is speaking of the name of the Most High God and the book of Exodus chapter 3, verses 13 to 15, when Moshe asked the Most High, what is his name? When he goes into the children of Israel and they ask, who is this God that has sent you to me? What shall I tell them? And the Most High replied to Moshe, and said, I am that I am. Simply put, in the ancient Phoenician Hebrew, that would break down to Ahia, Ashar, Ahia. So this is the God of our forefathers. This is his name and a memorial unto all generations throughout eternity. There's a lesson on who changed the Sabbath. We also believe in keeping the commandments of the Most High. We understand and know that Christ himself did not come to do away with the laws of his heavenly father that Christ and the most high are one and that he prays that we would be one you have a breakdown in a study about a people who were robbed this goes into the children of Israel um, seeing how we were spoiled a breakdown about baptism uh, a breakdown who the twelve tribes of Israel are it goes into man's tradition and the rapture deception. On this link here, you have the holy days according to the calendar that the Most High God, the Most High Ahiah gave to uh, the righteous scribe Enoch, who was also a priest and a king. He was one of the first persons that the Most High made to know how to write, and he wrote down the times and the secret of the times. 
You also can see account of this in the book of Jubilees as well. Um, in uh, the book of Jubilees chapter 6. We believe in spiritual growth and perfection and perfecting. We believe that you must strive for righteousness in these end times. The Bible tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails to much. And so we pray to the Heavenly Father. We lift our voices up to the heaven. We bend the knees of our heart. And we are asking the Father to plead our cause in these last days and vindicate us. We know that walking in the truth is not an easy thing to do. It can be very difficult at times and you'll be tried. But understand that when you are tried and going through the struggle, it increases your faith. And the Most High God said that He would never leave or forsake you. So you need to believe in that. And when we say that we believe and have faith in the Most High, it's not a philosophical belief. It is something that we actually put our trust in Him alone. That He gives us our understanding. He helps us to grow by leaps and bounds. Another thing that Holy Armor Ministry is doing, present day now, we are out uh, witnessing. We're in the Most High's vineyard. We are, we are blowing the trumpet, as it says in Isaiah chapter 58. Lift your voice up like a trumpet and show, uh, show my people their sins in the house of, 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 of Jacob or Israel their sins and their transgressions. And I'm paraphrasing. But we need as many as can see and hear with spiritual eyes and ears in the discernment to wake up in these last days. We believe that these 12 tribes of Israel are the valley of dry bones. And we are here to wake every last one of them up. The Bible says Judah would rise first and would be roused up. And then from Judah, the so-called African-American or, or black man or Negro, he would rise up and then he would raise and rise up his brethren, the other 11 tribes. Now this is not to exclude anyone because Yeshua himself the Israelite who I myself inspire myself to be like. So when I say Israelite, I'm not speaking of people who are bashing and cursing people and condemning people. Because the Bible tells us that everyone would either be justified or condemned by the very speech and words that come out of their own mouths. The Bible also tells us when Yeshia the Messiah tells us that we should know a tree we should know a tree by its fruit. Picking up where we left off, I would encourage you to not take my words for it, but please look over the information, share the information, link in with us. We'd like to uh, welcome you all and introduce you into listening to clean and healthy music. On this link, we want to do anointed music. We understand that Satan has infiltrated the quote-unquote church. And there's a time where, according to the scriptures, it says in the book of Hosea 6 and chapter 2, that the Most High would begin to wake his people up in the second day. Well, that second day has been 2,000 years since Christ has passed. The Bible tells us with the Most High, a thousand years as is one day before the Most High. And he is a God. When I say he, I'm speaking of the Most High, the Almighty, Ahia. He is a God of mercy. But equal to his mercy is his wrath. And in the day of judgment on his visitation, what will we do or what shall ye do when he turns his face from you? We believe in the book of Amos. It says that there will become a drought and a famine in the land. Not of bread and water, but of hearing the words of the Most High. So it is very important, my brothers and sisters, as we are living in these end times. And as this flyer says, can you see the writing on the walls? Knowledge has increased in these end days, but so has the deception. And Yeshua tells us, beware unless any man deceive you. So do not let anyone deceive you after philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and not after Christ. So we believe in keeping the Most High's holy days, the days that he has told us, which you can find in the book 
of Leviticus chapter 23. These are the holy days of the Most High. And he has called us to partake. There are appointments, appointed feasts where the Most High is dealing with his children. We believe that the Sabbath is the seventh day. That the Sabbath is a sign between us and the Most High God. We also believe and know beyond any shadow of a doubt that the Sabbath is not only given to Israelites, but it is given to every man, woman, and child on the face of this earth. And it is our sincere and deepest prayer that the eyes of your understanding, that your faith, that your obedience would be increased this day from hence on into eternity that you may taste and see that the Most High Ahia, is good and that there is no respecter of persons with him. In every nation, if they choose righteousness, they will be accepted. And I want to make it very clear. The scripture tells us that Amalek would be ever destroyed in every nation in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. Every nation that does not does not how do you say this that does not accept and come into serving Israel they will utterly perish forever I did not say that that is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 so I would just like to say to all of you my dear brothers and sisters the believers in the body of Christ please link in with us there's a lot of work to do I'd like to also esteem and thank the Most High for the elders that the Most High has thrust those perfect labors across my life. And I'd like to mention uh, the elders from the Gathering of Christ Church. I'd like to mention, uh, I believe it's this, the brother, uh, he's an elder of Obadiah from Israelite Heritage. Back in 2006, they begin to wake me up. And I know, brothers and sisters, that the, the thing with the names, everyone's calling different names. Well, in the book of Hosea, chapter 2, the Most High says he would take the names of Baalim out of our mouths. So if you are keeping the commandments of the Most High Ahia, whether you be a Jew or a Gentile, you, my dear brother and sister, are my brothers. Because Christ says in the, in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, he was speaking to the disciples and the people thought he was beside himself because the spirit was moving heavily on him. And his disciples came to him saying, saying to him, teacher or master, your family's outside. They want to get in and talk to you. And I'm paraphrasing. And Yeshua says, who is my mother and my brethren? The same who keep the commandments of our heavenly father. So I would just like to end with this and say please link out and uh, link in with us and reach out to us you can email me directly at holy armor ministries at gmail.com and just you know you can reach me on the youtube you can youtube elder t heman the hebrew and that's just the word elder and the letter t t e e and search of holy armor ministry we are truly about our father's business like Christ told us to be. And my prayer is for the family. We believe in the institution of marriage between a man and a woman. We believe in the family that we are to raise up our children in the ways of the Most High God and teach them. And when they are old, they should not depart from it. But the labors are far and few and the harvest is truly great. So we know that the scripture says that greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. That's First John 4 and 4. It is Christ that is in us. We believe in the laying on of hands. We believe in the eternal judgment. We believe in the baptism. We believe in the resurrection of the dead. It's time to be born again, brothers and sisters. We can't be playing in these end days. Christ says that those who are lukewarm, he will spill you out of his mouth. He said he would rather we would be cold or hot. We cannot sit at the table of the Lord, Yeshua, and at the table of devils. He is calling us. Remember the parable of the, the ten versions of the five wise versions. And then the ten, excuse me, the five foolish versions. They received the, the word. But then they spent up and used all their zeal and their oil. And they got burnt, burnt out. 
And the Bible says, woe to you who's lost your nerve. So I pray that with this introduction, that it stirs up within your spirit, that the Holy Spirit would resonate and rest on you. I pray for peace and blessing. I pray for power. I pray that you would be empowered and uplifted so that you would be more than a conqueror in Christ Yeshua. And that you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And remember, brothers and sisters, according to the book of Matthew chapter 13, the parable of the sowers of seeds, where there's three type of believers. One who has heard the word, and because of the sun, and because of the seeds were thrown out, and they didn't have, uh, they, they landed on the ground and by the wayside, the heat scorched them and burnt them up. The second, they didn't have a deep foundation, they didn't have a good root, and so the cares of the world came and choked it, that word out of them. And third, some of those received the word with the readiness of mind, like it says in the books of Acts chapter 17 and verse 11. And they studied the scriptures daily and nightly to see if those things be true. So that's what you must do. That is your responsibility. That is your duty to be accountable to your Lord and Savior, Yeshua. So that third sower is those who have received the word and it brought forth fruit, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. And they became as the kingdom of heaven is like someone who found a seed, small as a mustard seed, the smallest seed. He sold and gave away everything that he had and able to obtain it. Yeshia says those who find their lives and try to save it, they will lose their lives. But those who lose their lives for his sake, they shall find it. So I want to say bless you, brothers and sisters. I love you. And I cannot wait until we enter into the kingdom. I'm going to say Kwam Yashra which means rise Israel. We will soon see Zion. Shalom. Brother and Elder T. High Man, the Hebrew. Signing off for the nation of Yashra Allah from the tribe of Judah. Been a long time. Esau still after the birthright that he gave up But the father goes to Hamas, she has to save us You see our father we came from It's been thousands of years and they still trying to break us Rape us, indoctrinate us With a flood of lies, re-exodus 12 and 49 Israelites, Judites, Ephraimites, Gadites, Benjamites, Levites, and all the tribes We shine a light on them, we shine a light on them We put Christ on them, we put Yeshua on them 